How you doing? Rev here. If you're planning on doing a hike this year, especially a through hike, let me give you some startling statistics. Out of those that start a hike, only 25% actually finish that hike, especially is that true of a through hike. If you were to line up four people, think about it, only one person will complete that through hike and make it to the end. Now, I don't want to discourage you or anything like that, but I want to make you aware of some things that will cause you to quit your through hike and not finish. In order to successfully complete a through hike, you've got to determine what are those things that would cause me not to complete that through hike. And so in this video, I want to give you some things uh, that I've learned that causes most people to quit on a through hike and not complete it. So stay tuned. The biggest factor that I see that causes most people to quit their through hike and get off trail is a lack of finances. They say that the average through hike costs about a thousand dollars a month, uh, a little bit more, and uh, not too much less than that. There's some expenses that you don't have to worry about when you do a through hike. For example, you don't have to worry about gas money uh, because uh, you you're walking, you're not driving. And then there's some things that you're going to have to spend on your through hike that you would spend uh, if you were back at home. For example, groceries, you, you gotta eat, whether it's your, whether you're at home or on the trail. Now with that in mind, let me say this. When you factor in the cost of postage of sending resupply boxes uh, to purchasing things at trail towns, it is probably cheaper to buy things in trail towns, plus you're supporting those trail towns who depend upon hikers for their living. Even if the food in the trail town is expensive, I still think it's a lot cheaper to purchase things in these trail towns that you go through. Now you've got to ask yourself the question, Am I going to be able to exist on zero amount of income if I have to quit my job to be on the trail for five to six months? Now you're gonna have to either have all the money saved up for your through hike, or you're going to have to put it on your credit card. Now, I would be afraid that I would spend all the money that I've saved up for my through hike and not be able to finish it. Uh, and I guess the same thing is true if you put things on a credit card. If you max your credit card out before you finish, you're gonna have to quit and go home. But I had a credit card that I used that had a high credit limit, and also I didn't have a balance on it. And so I wasn't afraid of maxing out that credit card. But uh, you heard the saying, pay me now or pay me later. <laughs> Uh, when you get finished with your through hike, you got to pay off that credit card. <laughs> but at least you don't have to go home and quit because you ran out of finances. What I found was the biggest expenses on trail were uh, restaurants, accommodations, hotels, and gear replacements. This is where you can save money uh, on your through hike. When I went into a trail town, I usually stayed in a motel uh, because I had to upload videos and make phone calls and uh, do different things like that. And so I needed access uh, to all those amenities that uh, motels provided. But if you're trying to save money on your through hike, uh, I'd suggest that you not uh, check into motels, perhaps maybe uh, camp uh, about maybe a mile or two before 
the trail town or maybe a mile or two after the trail town or you could check into a hostel that uh, is not very expensive perhaps maybe go to a trail angel's house and stay there and of course uh, be sure and offer them some money for staying there and also when you go into a trail town you don't have to go to a restaurant but it's kind of hard to pass up pizza and uh, bacon cheeseburgers <laughs> and a milkshake another thing that i see that causes a lot of people to not complete their through hike and have to quit and go home is uh, injuries on trail now i'm a big proponent to uh, pre-hike preparation as far as uh, uh, physically being prepared to go out and do a through hike. I'm a big proponent of that. I think the more physically fit you are when you start the trail, the more chance you have at being successful. Now, I'm not saying that you can't go from couch potato to successful through hiker, but there's not been very many people that have done that and don't think that you're the exception to the rule. I realize that injuries on trail are sometimes unavoidable, but I think that the more fit you are physically, uh, the better chances you have at uh, finishing your through hike. And I feel like the likelihood of an injury on trail goes down and diminishes uh, quickly uh, when you're uh, physically fit when you start off on the trail. On one of my through hikes, I was about one mile from the cutoff from the main trail that you're going to, to go into town. And I tripped and I reached down to steady myself and to keep from falling and which I eventually did, and I jammed my shoulder real bad. And so I had to get off trail, go in for physical therapy because I could not even lift my arm up. And I had to go in for physical therapy for about seven weeks. And so I had to cut my uh, hike short because of that. And my friend, Mike Lawrence, uh, was doing a through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail, and he was heading... Uh, southbound from the Canadian border, got to Stevens Pass, and, well, just before Stevens Pass, and broke his ankle. And so he had to get off trail because of that. But I think he said he hiked 90 miles or 100 miles on a broken ankle. Whoa. Now, even though sometimes injuries on the trail are unavoidable, uh, you can get his physically prepared as you can. And the best way to do that is just hike. Do a, prep, a lot of preparation hikes, get to know your gear, and also uh, train for uh, uh, hiking. A lot of day hikes around in your area. And uh, also, you have to go to the gym. Again, serious injuries on trail is one of those big things that will cause you not to complete uh, your through hike. Another thing that I noticed is what I call a lack of mental preparation. Someone asked me, they said, Rev, what is the hardest, uh, for you, what is the hardest part of hiking or doing the through hike? And immediately I said the mental part. I was in the best shape of my life when I hiked the Pacific Crest Trail but it was the mental part that I really had to deal with and almost caused me to quit and uh, not complete my through hike. Most people quit a through hike at one or two places. Either the first hundred miles of their through hike uh, because they're not physically prepared. And also, believe it or not, after halfway through the trail, and that is because of a lack of mental preparation. One of the hardest things that I dealt with was when I got to the halfway mark of the Pacific Crest Trail, uh, it hit me that, wow, <laughs> I'm halfway through. And then it hit me, I'm only halfway through. I was only halfway through with my through hike 
and wasn't even out of California yet. And so it was very discouraging to me. And, and again, it was, it was something I had to deal with and almost caused me to quit and get off trail. Now, let me say this. The amazement of the trail and the beauty of the trail and climbing a big mountain to get to the top and just to see as far as you can see, uh, that's... Uh, some big motivation factors to keep you going. But you're gonna to have to have more than that <laughs> to finish a through hike. When it's so smoky, you can't even see uh, the scenery and it's raining and you can't see anything and it's wet and you, you go to bed wet and you wake up and have to put on wet clothes. You're gonna to have to find something to motivate you uh, more than just the beauty and uh, uh, of the trail. I found that having small attainable goals was a better motivation for me to finish my through hike uh, than to look at the big picture. When I got to the halfway point, point and uh, I was tempted to quit, uh, I just kept thinking to myself, I'm not even going to think about getting to Canada. I'm not even going to think about it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to worry about getting to my next campsite. And then when I got to my next campsite, I got up the next morning and I said to myself, if I could just get to my next campsite. And uh, that's what caused me to keep going. In fact, uh, when I was only about 200 miles from the Canadian border, uh, it hit me. I'm almost finished. And uh, so find some things that motivate you to uh, put one foot in front of the other and don't look at the big picture and uh, you won't have to quit and go home and not complete your through hike. Another factor that I have discovered that causes people to quit their through hike and not complete it is situations back home. I missed my family uh, immensely when I was on the Pacific, Pacific Crest Trail. It's a long time. Five and a half months uh, to six months is a long time to be away from your family. I tried to take care of everything before I left to go on trail so my wife wouldn't have to worry about it. The things that I didn't take care of, I just told her, honey, I'll take care of it when I get home, okay? Just deal with it. So don't let situations back home, your family, and I know family comes first, but don't let that be an excuse for you to pack it up and go home and not complete your through hike. Then lastly is what I call running out of time. On the Pacific Crest Trail, in fact, um, all the major uh, through hiking trails in the United States have what's called a weather window of opportunity. For example, the Pacific Crest Trail, you can't go too late into the desert because it's so hot that you can't make it. Neither can you go in too early to the Sierra because there's too much snow. And then you gotta get finished uh, before the bad weather comes in to Northern Washington. And so if you're under a time constraint and you're not gonna be able to make it, uh, that will be a major cause for you to not complete your through hike. I was 30 miles from the Canadian border, about to finish my through hike of the Pacific Crest Trail at Hearts Pass. And it had been raining for, I don't know, about seven days in a row. And it was cold, a hyperthermic weather, and uh, it was really, really getting to me. I camped there at Hearts Pass and I uh, set up my tent and it was still raining. And when I came back to get into my tent, I had, had about an inch or two of water uh, inside of the tent. I went back to the people that I was hiking with and I told them, I said, look, I'm quitting. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. I mean, I, and I was serious. And uh, oh, <laughs> I remember, uh, a guy, Bird, who I hike with, he said, no, no, Rev, you're bumming me out. You can't quit now, we've come this far. But uh, I, I, was, I was finished, 30 miles 
from the Canadian border, 30 miles to the completion of my through hike. And so what we decided to do was to go into Winthrop, uh, a trail town, and uh, to wait out the weather in about three days we were there and the weather uh, cleared up and we went back to Hearts Pass and uh, went the 30 miles and finished uh, the Pacific Crest Trail. Sometimes hikers from foreign countries uh, run out of time and let their visa lapse and have to not complete their through hike and go home to pack it up. Now, I'm not gonna get into a discussion about what is a through hike and what isn't a through hike, but let me say this. If you're not able to complete your hike or through hike or whatever, uh, then just start where you left off and just complete it the following year. Or if it takes you two years or three years or whatever, but the most important thing is to finish the, th the trail that you started on. If you have any questions or comments, please leave that in the comments section below. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel if you've not uh, already done so. Also, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about uh, hiking, through hiking, uh, anything to do with just getting outside, uh, then check these videos out that are on the screen. And until then, I will see you down the trail.